Hello and welcome to another video with Leah. Today I'm going to be talking about how to make beeswax candles. In the description box below, you can find a few links so that you can buy materials to do this. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is to prepare the work area by protecting it with some paper um, and taping it down. You can also do this to the floor in case you're worried about um, hot wax dropping on the floor. Alright, so then we have some water and some wax in an aluminum can and then some extra wax from old candles just in case I needed more and then I filled my pot with water to about halfway And then I placed the wax in and began heating it on medium heat. And then while the wax was melting, um, this took a little while, I got my materials ready. Um, I had my wick there and a board to place my newly made candles on. I knew I wanted my candles to be the size of this old candle, which um, had a wick that wasn't working, so I cut my wick, and I wanted to make three candles, so I cut them three times, leaving some space at the top so that I could have some room to dip the candle and hold it. Yeah, a great thing about beeswax is that it's a natural material, so it doesn't have any added ingredients, and it has a really nice scent. And there are no extra perfumes to make the beeswax smell it does. I had used some old beeswax in this video, but I'll leave links in the description so that you can go buy new beeswax if you want to. Alright, so now there was room for me to add another chunk of wax. And another thing to note is that I was doing this by myself, so I got to use the stove and a pot and that was fine, but with more people you could put the aluminum can into a slow cooker with water and melt the wax there and then have the line of people wait and um, dip their candle and then, you know, go to the back of the line and redo the process until their candle is made. Alright, so here, since the wax is melted, I began dipping them and then I realized that I needed a larger jar of water. The use of water here is optional. Um, like I was saying earlier, if you have a line of people um, just dipping the candle, right, the waiting in line is enough time to cool the candle for another dip. But here, because I was just making these by myself, I used the water to speed up the process. And then here's an old candle that I just put in to melt because it was the one that wasn't working. And here, in the early stages of dipping, you want to make sure your candle is straight because um, it has a tendency to just kind of bend um, in the early stages, so you want to straighten that out before it's too late, before the candle becomes too thick to mold. And if you notice at the bottom, there'll be this little um, drop shaped end and you want to just break that off because um, that will grow and it doesn't really have any wick in the center so you just want to snip that off and put it into the can for remelting. So here you just keep dipping and dipping your candle until it reaches a size that you want.
And then because this was a rather large process, I decided to make two more candles. So here they're shown. The three first ones are of significant size now. And then I have the extra two who are just starting out. Again, you want to make sure that the wick on those early um, little candles. And so also the taller the can, um, the taller the candles you can make. Alright, so now I had my candle holder to test if my candles were of good width, and I decided that they needed a little bit of um, extra dipping, just for a little bit of extra thickness. And, and then they were done, I made five candles. And as you can see, they do work, they do light. Yeah, so that was how to make candles. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you would like to subscribe and leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time.